Hello everybody. Today we are trotting for grayling on the River Rumney. The source of the Rumney is near Rumney in South Wales. It flows on through to the Severn Estuary with its mouth near Cardiff. So the first thing we need to do is find ourselves somewhere to fish. So we found a nice spot here that appears to have a deeper channel of water over on the left bank but we think there could possibly be some grayling hanging about. So let's get ourselves set up then. So we're trotting today, so we're using a stick float. This is a rather nice stick float. It's a plastic stick float. Just need to attach it here to our line. We use these uh, these rubber bands to attach it. It enables us to adjust the float length as we test with the depth of the water. This is the hook I'm going to use. A barbler size something hook, whatever size this hook is. Just going to uh, attach the hook length onto our setup. Lovely jubbling. So the first thing we're going to use is a worm. I like to use a worm. It's a, a bigger bait than the maggot, so we think it's going to attract the bigger fish as they're going to bully their way towards it when it enters the water. So we're trotting. I'm going to cast out into the deeper channel and let it trot down the river past the fish and then once we've passed the swim I'm just going to reel it back in on the shallow side of the river as not to disturb the fish as we bring it back in and there we go first trot complete now I'm just going to adjust the float length here because I'm testing for depth I think it's a little bit go a little bit deeper so I'll just move the float up the line. Then we go then for our second trot. Then it goes. If there's any grain in there, hopefully they'll pick up the worm and we'll be in. So just reading it back in, up again, through the shallow water. Nothing yet on my first couple. In we go again. Third trot. Third trot lucky, hopefully. There we go. In it goes. Down that deeper channel. Hopefully there's grayling there. They like to hang around in the calmer waters. Slightly deeper, calmer water. So we've got nothing with our worms. So let's try a few maggots. What we're going to do here now, we're just going to, every few minutes, a little, a little handful, four or five maggots, Going to throw them in, see if we can get them feeding. So we didn't catch anything on our first swim. After there, we're there for about an hour. So we decided to move up upstream, try a different swim. So there's a nice beach by this bridge, and there's some areas of calmer, deeper water we can we can trot into. So we weren't here long. And straight away, we've got a bite. So quite exciting. Got a bite. What have we got? Have we got what we've come for? The angler here, Andrew, doesn't think so. It's, it, he says it's not, it's not playing, it's not fighting like a grayling. He's pretty confident it's going to be a trout. So try to ride a season at the moment. So any trout we catch, we've got to get them back in the water nice and quickly. We won't weigh them or anything. We'll just uh, unhook them, get them back into the water quick as we can. Let's have a look. What have we got? What have we got there, Mr. Angler? It's a trout. Out of season trout, and not a very big one. So we're straight back in, trotting, 
And we got another bite straight away. What have we got this time? Bring up a bit of a fight there. Let's just get the landing net. When we're ready. And it's just a tiddler. Oh well. Another trout. And back he goes safely. Didn't even leave the net for that one. Back in, trotting again. Straight away. We've got a bite. This one's a bit bigger. The way it's fighting there. The rod's coming down. It's to allow the fish. So the force isn't on the rod there. Just trying to bring it in. What have we got this time then, Mr. Fisherman? Exciting stuff here on the bank of the River Rumney. Trotting for grayling. Have we got our first grayling of the day then? It's putting up a bit of a fight. And I need to go into the landing net, this one. What do we think? Do we have our first grayling of the day? In he comes, and it's another trout. Best part of a pound, that one. Decent fish, but of course, they're out of season. We've got to get him back into that water as quick as we can. No weighing, no measuring. As quick, as quick release as we can. There he goes. So the beauty of trotting, if you don't need much equipment, not much to, to do once we're set up. Let's pop a new bit of bait on. And off we trot. And we're on again. There were a lot of fish about in this in this swim. Sadly for us all trout so far. Could this be the one? Lovely view there of the River Rumney. Beautiful river. We did find quite a bit of uh, junk and rubbish from the floods. Um, even a number plate from a motorcycle popped it in and it was last registered back in the 1990s. So I don't know when that, reg that motorcycle drove into the river. But we've got, we've got another trout. So you see the barbless hooks come out very easily doing minimal damage to our fish. My wife will be upset to see that. All those fish going back, none of them coming home for the pot. But it wasn't all trout. We did get what we were after. A juvenile grayling. So not all bad in this swim, but we were just hitting trout, so it's time to move on. So we went up river, but possibly about a mile up the river found a different swim a bit more of a tricky swim this one we had to climb we had to climb down the bank and we had to cast up river which we wouldn't normally advise for trotting but it's our only option here we cast up river and we trot it past us but it did not take long at all until we got a bite And our angler, Andrew, he's quite confident this is a grayling. He's 
as he can very much tell by the way it fights. The way the Grey League will swim into the current, open up its fan fin, and let the current help it fight. Obviously to do with its, uh, its ecology and the way it uh, avoids predators. The trout will thrash about more, whereas the grayling will head into the current. They're of course in the same family, trout and grayling. They, they can live quite happily side by side in these rivers, occupying different niches. The grayling has a much smaller mouth, normally going for much smaller food. We don't ever want to use too much of a, a large bait. So small worms and maggots are, are our key baits for the grayling. So he's very confident now this is a grayling. Out comes the landing net. Now the fish is currently downstream of him, so this is be quite difficult to land. He needs to bring the fish up through the current. Carefully does it. There he is, we can see the grayling there. Well, we're certain, it's pretty sure it's a grayling at this point. So the key is what he's done here is he's got that grayling up past his net, get the net downstream with the fish. Well, that's what he's trying to do here. It's being quite feisty though. Putting up quite a bit of a fight. Of course, we've got very light gear here. So we need to play the fish nice and gently. There it is. Upstream, and then we can just let it flow back into the net. And there we go. Let's have a look at it then. Or him. So this is a grayling and we're perfectly in season now for, to, to catch grayling. We can, we can weigh it, measure it. So like I said, we have to climb back up the bank because it's a bit of a tricky swim. Let's get this beaut onto the scales. What have we got then? What do you reckon? Is it a two pounder? One pound fourteen ounce, not bad at all. It's good going to get a fish over two pounds here, so we're happy with that. A fine specimen. A beautiful fish with a very unique aroma. Some say it smells quite herby. Beautiful colours, and look at that. Look at that large fin. That's what it deploys when it's avoiding predators, and it helps it shoot off down in, into, the, into the flow. So as you saw, that fish put up quite a fight. They don't give up. So what we want to do, before we just release it, we're going to rest it in our net till it's recovered. What we don't want to do is put it straight back in. So we'll leave it there for a few minutes. 